The reason I get fly is I've been Jasper. I even keep your picture in my passport. Let's go Paris. Wake up and planning a trip to Greece and or you want some ideas on where to stay and what to consider, stay with me. If you're returning, thank you. If this is your first time checking us out, we hope you enjoy the content. First time to Greece, we opted to hit up the biggest destinations, that being Athens, Santorini, and Mykonos. Athens being on the mainland and uh, being tailored to cultural history, followed by some island hopping and some water activities and relaxation. In Athens, we stayed at the Plaka Hotel in a prime location. Line aside to the Acropolis, and walking friendly to many shops and eateries. I definitely splurged on some local made bags. And baby, we had octopus, okay? We had a private half day city tour and dinner in the sky plant. Momix and Little Cook were random but amazing additions to this quick stop. Momix is a molecular mixology bar. You heard me, molecular, think chemistry taste buds okay little cook is a fairy tale inspired cafe with incredible sweet and savory treats warning if clutter triggers you stay away okay since we plan to not spend a lot of time in the room we targeted cheaper room rate and amenities i honestly do wish we would have added another half day at least to the itinerary so that we could um have it went to some museums and art galleries up next was Santorini, in which we opted to fly versus taking sea transport, and that saved us about three hours in time. Travel tip. Here we splurged on the room, okay? The intended vibe was chilling and relaxing poolside, so we opted to spend more money there. We stayed at Amber Lights Villa that had a seaside view with our own private pool, and it was on the quieter side of the island. So. Planning tip based on your travel vibe, okay? Here we planned for a private island tour, horseback riding down to the Black Beach, and a semi-private catamaran experience to see the island seaside. Travel tip, something to consider for sure as you're planning your activities is whether you want to splurge for a private experience, um, save money, doing a group, and a compromise in the middle is a semi-private experience. In those experiences, you can control the speed of your activity, uh, meaning if you get tired, um, just are not interested in that part of the tour, you can choose to um, speed that along, right? And then if you wanna spend more time somewhere, you also have that option. We tend to opt for private experiences um, for that um kind of sake right but then we recognize right you want to be conscious cost cost conscious so then um that's when we uh consider the semi-private we ended up even adding a two-hour massage at the hotel spa which is common for us to look for a spa opportunity wherever we go we went at the end of may and the water was definitely cooler than we expected so we didn't hop off the catamaran and frolic in the sea and our private pool temperature was also pretty chilly something to consider when you're planning um what time of year to take your trip planning tip unfortunately we weren't able to do horseback riding just due to some missing fine print um and safety issues but we drove down to the black beach and we walked around instead we did try two restaurants the hotel receptionist raved about, and we weren't really impressed. Um, I will say I did enjoy the experience and food at The View. Shaquille did not. Um, and just as the name states, The View was insane. Look at this. Incredible. We watched the sunset while having dinner. What more could you ask for, right? Now, the other restaurant we went to, we cannot remember the name, I should probably tell you something, but it was pretty expensive. Like we'll spend money on some food and an experience um, and we definitely wasn't expecting uh, those prices, but like the food and drink that we chose, we just didn't, we didn't enjoy it. Now acknowledge, I did say what we chose, right? Because maybe it was us. Um, 
maybe it's it was the items that we chose because um our hotel receptionist she raved about it so much so we definitely had high expectations but shout out lola last stop was mykonos which we took a c jet and we upgraded to the platinum level to see what all the fuss was about um as it was our first kind of ferry experience right between the islands was definitely a cool experience because it was a shorter duration first coming from the mainland planning to consider all of your logistics when you're moving in between um kind of countries or cities from mainland to sea think about that all right uh again here we splurged on the room um as we were intending for a a vibe being chill and super relaxed spending time by the pool at the royal myconian resort which was on the quiet side as well, and a bit on the outskirts. We had no idea Mykonos was known for partying, which is the energy that you feel and see in, in town. So if um, that is um, a goal that you have, keep that in mind when you're planning your trip, okay? Here we planned a walking tour in town, which we ended up canceling, uh, taking a loss on the money that we spent. Um, we were planning to go parasailing, but that got canceled due to when literally a few a few hours prior to um and here we did a private boat experience which you can say was more semi-private because we weren't on it alone but it was a very small group with the parasailing being canceled um and us choosing to cancel the walking tour it did give us more time to enjoy the hotel which was so much nicer than we expected uh we definitely went back and forth on where do we want to stay in mykonos uh it was a little worried um we ended up doing a body scrub and a massage instead of parasailing so um, something to consider when you're traveling, try to remain flexible and open um, to adjusting your plans on the fly so that you can still enjoy your trip. So travel tip. While here, we went to Scorpio's and Sushu, Sushu, Sushi Bar. <laughs> um, that being at the uh, hotel, sister hotel, Imperial. Uh, it was a walk down a very steep hill. So pl plan your shoes accordingly all right um both of these restaurants were experiences near the water scorpio offering outdoor party vibe on the beach and the latter complete opposite where it was soft music chill and peaceful vibes warning scorpio was super expensive again we spend money um in regards to food and experience um we didn't look at prices so when we got there it was like whoa um, and I'm not sure that I think the food was quite worth the amount of money that we spent there. Um, but the food was better than that expensive experience at the place we can't remember in Santorini, okay? We'll have more hotel and activity reviews from our Greece experience. So stay with us and come back, okay? Uh, for more content on tips, tricks, reviews, and hacks, Definitely make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, and share, all right? And then follow us on your social media platform of choice for more culture experiences and more. Thank you. We got new merch. So check out that website, all right? All right.